one revolution. Look, Marquardt's on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, welcome to the Informant Podcast. I'm um, Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Tonight I have with me Jen, the Mafia Wars loot lady. Hello. Anna has taken the night off to spend some time with her family, and Mike's around in the hopper somewhere, and Chester's probably eating in and out burger somewhere. So, with Diet Coke with no ice or something. So, what's going on? Oh, lots of fun stuff. Yeah? Like personal Sorry. fun stuff or all just Mafia Wars fun stuff? Oh, Well, I was being sarcastic. (laughs) It's all Mafia Wars. Oh, okay. But Zango was on a um, fixing spree today. Oh, yeah? And they fixed four major things in the game, but unfortunately those were things that were beneficial to the player. (laughs) Typical. I'm trying to think, for me, with Spock Home, there's been a few changes here and there to some of the scripts that, you know, just... Some cleanup stuff and a couple of new features, like there's a delay timer on Assassinator. I'm trying to think what else we had that was of significant note this week. Oh, the uh, family battle history has been added to the toolbar for backup purposes. So if you want to keep that history, you can now store it on the server as opposed to only storing it in your local your oh, local that's storage. Nice. Yeah. And then I think the big thing that I wanted to take a couple of seconds to talk about, and this doesn't really apply to every Mafia Wars player, but it does apply to scripters in the community. And, you know, we've had instances, and and I'm sure other scripters have had the same thing happen to their, their work, where people will go out and download a copy of it and then make minor changes and then call it their own and not give credit to the people that originally wrote some of the script. And I think, you know, on numerous levels, that's absolutely wrong. What we had happen to us recently was not only did they just take our code and then, you know, tweak it a little bit and call it their own. They also removed our donate button off the script itself as well. And I think now you've kind of really crossed the line in, you know, what you're doing. And I I kind of described this earlier off the air to, to Jen and Mike, you know, that it's kind of like you've got your child. And, you know, you send your child out and you expect them to come back in the same condition they went out in. And if somebody out there decides to paint their hair color, you know, yellow and they don't come back and, you know, now it's they think it's their child. And Jen gave me a hard time because she says, oh, no, you're comparing your children to scripts. And, <laughs> and, it's, and in part, they are because you're talking about that the fundamental code behind it is like a DNA pattern. I mean, it's it's in essence the thought processes and the um, intelligence that was added behind the script remains with the script when it moves from place to place. So in part, I mean, you know, kind of a weird analogy, but, you know, I think people can kind of get the point. I guess we just really like to see that when when and if any of our Spock Holmes scripts are used, that there's proper credit given for it. It hurts your feelings when you put in all that time. And then you see it somewhere else yeah. with no credit to you. I, I go through that a lot with my blog posts. I'll go right. to s- some other blog and I'll see my same pictures with the watermarks cut off. Yeah. And explained in the same manner. Yeah. Or your walkthroughs copied. Yeah. You know, and and I get that a lot of this business, if you will, is is about you know, reusing information from other sources and stuff like that. But just like as if you were actually, you know, running a newspaper, you have to give credit where credit is due. You don't go copying someone else's news article, throwing your name on it, change five words in it and say it's yours, you know, or throw it, you know, you know, a pretty wrapper around it and change the font color and say it's yours. I mean, and that's in essence what's happening is, you know, or you change one or two parameters so you can get a couple extra things out of it than what we initially designed it with and then just say it's now all your own. I don't know. It's just something that just irks me a little bit. I don't blame you. Don't no. they call those people script kitties? Yeah, well, script that kitties. copy others. No, those are copycats, but script kitties are ones that you just feel that, that are 
the impression is given that they don't know a lot about scripting and or coding and then what they do is they just basically just minor mods to something you know basically you know like I said changing variables or something like that you know some of the people that have done mods on some of our stuff have done some very good significantly different stuff and then you know that's fine and they I mean, usually give you credit and they give credit in the source and said this was an original script of such and such and this is this but you know some of them when you have got the identical user interface and you have you know almost everything the same as what we designed it as and now all of a sudden the only thing that's changed on it is the name of the person who wrote it who you know did the mod and the donate button goes to their particular donate places that that's wrong I mean you're gonna change significantly change the user interface and everything too you know anyway that's just uh, it's, you know just kind of a tirade this evening for me but I just wanted to get that off my chest so and we see we've seen a lot of it yeah so anyway what else what do we got going on in the game I saw the London thing yeah well th there seems to be a fire theme going on we found um, images of the next secret district and it's called the great fire and it's based in Chicago so the the loot items were added to the inventory and all the images are in the servers and then like the next day we get um, when after Italy shut down there's a new destination called London and if you go to it from your travel bar you'll get this picture of the London Bridge burning down right and we have to collect 500 Jacko lights, and we get those through newsfeed requests. You can get 50, or you're supposed to get 50. I've only been getting 49 every eight hours. And you can either help people, but use the stream scanner to collect them, or you can ask yourself. And then um, we need to collect 500 invitations to London, and those are sent out as free gifts. And it's ass backwards. You send it as a gift, but you don't get credit unless the person you send it to accepts it. And if you accept one in your ZMC, you don't get anything. But you helped one of your mafia members, but it takes away from your free gift limit. So some people are having a hard time with that. And, you know, I, I showed a way on my blog how to kind of bypass all that and just use the gift blaster. And you could send, you know, the same gift over and over again, but that was fixed as well. But that's been going on for months, and I'm sure Zynga knew about that, and I don't think my blog post had anything to do with it getting fixed, contrary to popular belief. Yeah, yeah. But And most people that just blasted to their mafia got what they needed anyways. You know, if you have a mafia of 5,000, you know, 10% of the people are probably going to click on it, especially in the beginning, because nobody really knew right. they weren't getting anything for it. Yeah. It does make you wonder what the heck they were thinking, why it had to be so different that it's had nothing to do with what you collect, it's what others send you. I yeah. Don't, I don't understand why they make these kind of changes to the game that are so screwy. You know, and then there's a part of me that thinks maybe they didn't realize that's what was going to happen when they did it. Maybe. <laughs> it's not, it's kind of like those mission crew links, like you accept them and you, you know, if the person already has a filled mission then that's like a waste of one of your gifts. Right. And we also have Mafia Poker Season 3, which, you know, in order to get where you need to be, thanks to all these losing hands, you need to accept as many of those poker cards as you can a day. Right. And then you have your artillery shells, your concrete for the family property bunkers, or family properties. Yes. So it's like, and then if you want your skill points and stamina boosts from the the mystery bags, it's a lot of gifts you need to accept. And if they're going to continue on this trend, then 250 is not nearly enough. Not going to cut it. But yeah, no, especially. even 500 might not be enough at this point. It would help. True, true. So I don't know what they're going to do, but the system's really messed up. Yeah. And then the kicker is once you collect these things, you won't get anything for it until London's released, but they don't tell you when London's going to be released. All you get is coming soon right and they're kind of vague on those jackalites it's kind of funny when you hit your limit of 50 it tells you you hit your limit and it says try again in a few hours so until enough time elapsed we didn't really know how much time and it's eight hours so i, I don't think they should be calling eight hours a few hours 
that yeah. implies more like two or four. Right, right. So, but, you know, if you do it every eight hours, you should be able to get 500 within like three or four days. And if you do get 500, you get London currency, which is going to be pounds. And if you get your 500 um, London invites, you'll get a weapon called Carnage, and it has like really good stats. So you want to make sure you do that. Yippers. So that's kind of London. And they have this thing like, as you reach mastery of your jackolites, like you start out at the bronze level, or you actually start out at no level. And then when you master bronze, if you go to London from your travel bar, the page kind of look, starts to disintegrate. And then when you hit emerald, it'll say London is burning or London will burn. Oh, didn't know. And that. I, I think it's going to tie in with um, the secret district somehow, which is called the Great Fire. Mm hmm. And we don't know when that's coming out either, but I kind of have a feeling once that timer runs out, then maybe London will open. Mm. Could be. But who knows with them? And it could open in a year. Nobody knows. Could be next week. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and then sp speaking of free gifts, um, the, all the um, carnival mystery bags, if you had any left over in your ZMC, they all got converted to Caesars mystery bags. So we should be seeing some of those soon. And again, if we don't have an increased limit, we're not even going to be able to collect nearly hardly any of them. Yeah, because you can collect 20 of those a day. But now we're like, what do we do? How how much crap do we need to accept every day? Right. And that Mafia poker goes for 10 days. So it's possible if you accepted 250 a day, you could get two emerald level items. Yeah. But I'm just going to go for one and be done with it. Yep. And then who knows what's going to happen with the next property. Uh, now that we can't do multiple tabs, it's going to be almost impossible to get to level 15. Nope, you'll get to level 12. Like you've been doing, because you've been doing it the right way. Yep, I'm at 10 now. I'm, I'm about three away from finishing 10. And I'm not going to get them until the next time period. And I'll probably squeak out just making it to 12 before the one day expires. So I would speculate that we'll just barely make it to 12. Or I might even boycott it just if the loot item is not good enough. Yeah. I think it's going to be a lot. Those and those individual part requests are going to come into play and be way more important now. Yeah. So I think it, if you make a shortened link for it, it's just going to be how many times can you spam that and get people to click on it. Right. And we'll probably see way less requests now, which may help. You might actually get more click-throughs on your requests. Right. So it, we'll see. I'm hoping they make it easier, or like reduce the number of parts, or maybe do one part as a free gift again. But then we run into the problem of all these other free gifts. Yeah. So in an ideal world, they would increase the gift limit to 500, make one property item giftable, and then yeah. they could have their system. And it'll be funny to watch the... Um, daily active users because every time there's a limited time property you see a spike and that's because people were going in with their mini accounts to open up their multiple links well if we can't do multiple links now what's the point yeah. to get one one part it's not worth trying to remember the password yeah true so <laughs> they probably won't see that jump i've just created my own gaming game i'm trying to see how many skill points i can store up before i have to actually start using them and how many are you at 1700 Wow. And you can still serial level? Yeah. Wow. Yep. I'm not even close to that. But it's funny, if you, if you like, set your account up right from the very beginning, you can get on that where you can serial level and still be strong. It's funny that they went through all this trouble to fix all these glitches. And it's very unfortunate that I had just posted about them a few days ago, and that's why people are blaming me, saying, you post it and they fix it in two days, but that's not how it works. It was just bad timing and coincidence. But that one exploit we keep bringing up, they still haven't done anything about that. And it was funny because if you notice, there's a loot item in the um, marketplace called the Professional Wrestler. And he looks like this professional wrestler UFC guy. I forgot his name, like Brock Lar Larson or something. But anyways, it, there is a picture of this guy, and it was a copy and paste of what the loot item is. And there's a lot of people out there that have, like, a ton of them before they were even released. 
So we get a lot of um, inquiries on the fan page with people posting links saying, how is this possible that this guy has all these loot items? They're not even available yet. Hmm, that is so. a good question. 